Tessa Clark from West Kington Stud. Um, we're based in, so you can you hear me? In Wiltshire. Um, and it's great to be here today and incredible to see what Tullis and his family have created here or furthering the work they've been doing. So very impressive. Thank you for having us. So we were set up um, West Kington Stallion Yard, it's owned by Jane and Tim Holdens Rodham, um, alongside um, a vet called Martin Boyle. I think anyone in the equine world will be aware of Martin. He um, has done more than any other person, I think, to promote AI, particularly in equine. And also he has done deer and things in New Zealand. So he's the brains and the power um, behind what we do at West Kington. And so we got involved at West Kington of collecting freezing semen um, in 1996. It all started off with an inquiry for someone to send new forest semen to Australia. And Jane and Tim were very keen, they saw a market to um, establish the correct facilities, etc. Um, so we have a lab, not as glamorous as Tullis's, but we have the same kind of equipment um, and we have the same knowledge. Um, so I won't dwell on that because you saw that lovely video that Tullis produced. Only a few minutes to talk, but what's very important to us is apart from we know the te technical side of freezing semen, collecting and freezing, and chilled semen is um, manageable, but also the stallions that come to us, they need a good environment to live and to work. We have an expression, happy stallion, happy semen. So this is just, um, in fact, an Irish draft stallion, Hawkland Silver Prince, back in 2001. It's going for a nice hack in our woods. One of the, um, through probably, I think, in the early 90s, um, Martin Boyle was, um, it might even be in the late 80s, but anyway, he got involved with various, I think to begin with, heavy horse societies of going on to farms and collecting and evaluating. I think it started with the Suffolks and the Shires. Um, I look at Bar Barrelay there, he's part of the team as well. Um, and they really were trying to identify stallions. I think it's the beginning of the premium for the Shires to have background um, knowledge of what the semen was like. Um, it's something that we have continued from time to time. Um, we, that's how we originally West Kington got involved with the Rare Breeds Survival Trust was after the game foot and mouth. In 2002, we started travelling to various locations um, to collect and evaluate semen to identify stallions that would be suitable then to send into a collection centre and that would either be to Tullus here at Stallion AI or down to us in Wiltshire. Fortunately, we live far enough apart that we can split um, as Tullus said, we all get on very well together and share ideas, etc. But also, geographically, we're far enough apart to um, not tread on each other's toes. So, we have the equipment um, and we can go, obviously, wherever we go. They've got a supply mare or a dummy that we can collect from. But we have all the equipment and then we can start assessing stallions that could have semen um, suitable to come into the collection centre. Um, so for very obvious reasons, it reduces costs greatly. So just going back to the past, 1997, Martin Boyle there doing the collection off the Percheron up in um, Suffolk somewhere. Um, I just love the picture, telegraph pole there, it's all good and rustic stuff. But um, anyway, it's a stallion that did come down to us in the end to have semen collected and frozen. Um, 2002, we'd been to the Highlands. Um, 2003, we down on Dartmoor, the Shilton Rock Stud. Um, Elizabeth Newbolt Young. So we collected off about, evaluated six to eight stallions. And then the rare breeds then put three of them through our system to collect and freeze for export. One of my favourite pictures, we call, I call this collecting off haystacks. So this is up at Holsley Bay. We've done a lot of work with the Suffolks. Um, John Fleming's here today, who very kindly kind of helped us get going. And that is Colony Edward, who was one of the resident stallions at Holsley Bay. In 2001, in fact, he came to West Kington um, and was coming for six weeks, foot and mouth kicked in. He ended up staying for several months. 
So we had lots and lots of lovely frozen semen, which were still exporting. Um, but this was just a bit backup semen, and it's a day, I think, John, um, Fred had got about four or five stallions in for Martin to evaluate. Um, and those are the prisoners who, I think a year before they were um, on parole, they were allowed to come and help if they wanted at the stallion centre. Yeah. And here's the result. So kind of, we're thinking about moving forward of, um, this is by Colony Edward, Australia, someone called Andrew Lucas. Um, it turns out actually he does embryo transfer with his mares as well. So he is a great supporter of not only the Suffolks, but also the Shahul Society. Um, so that's a nice result there, somewhere outside Melbourne um, at the fall. Um, I mentioned we went to the Highlands in 2002. Um, we evaluated, we were there for two or three days, I think about 16 Highlands, Eriskies, etc. And this was just, a, um, to, as I said, to identify stallions. And then some of them went to Tullus here and a couple to us. But meanwhile, Finding had been exported to Australia. And we had a phone call, um, I think it's about 10, 12 years ago, from Windsor Castle to say, I think you've got some Finding semen there. The Queen, that's one of the last grey horses she rode. And you see pictures of her riding in Windsor Park. But she'd like, that's the standing she wanted to use. So fantastic, the mayor came to us. Um, and that's the result in foal. And she did several other mares with Finding afterwards. The Queen also, we mentioned Prince Charles, um, I just know personally because we have her mares, is very um, keen also on the Cleveland Bay Society and helping them. And um, we have a couple of mares each year that they breed, so we have the honour of inseminating them. So that's great. The future, um, one of the problems, and I'm sure Tullus comes across as well, and perhaps it's the same for a lot of rare breeds, whatever species, is the preparation of the stallion or the male. Um, we find the semen quality can be greatly improved just by proper management before the stallion comes to us. Um, there's sometimes a kind of thought process, well, right, he's done his stud duties, we'll turn him out for a couple of months and then, oh, oh, oh someone wants us to send us down for semen collection. So they send us down Perhaps he's just been on grass. He hasn't, what I call, been prepared. There seems to be, and not this is not necessarily the rare breeds, but a lot of breeders and societies, they've got their 24-year-old horse. They suddenly think, oh, we need his bloodlines. Let's send him in. The ideal time, actually, to collect off a stallion um, is probably between the age of 6 and 12. Um, that's just generalising. There are a lot of older stallions that produce good semen. But it is something to be done, I think, when the stallion is younger rather than old. Feeding, as I said, you want to, um, you're thinking you're feeding the stallion to produce good semen. Socialisation, we sometimes, stallion comes to us and says, oh, haven't been in the stable for the last three years. And you know, they're going to expect the stallion are set up. You can't have them living out all the time to get used to being with other stallions um, in a stable. So socialisation is very important and I'm sure that's the same for a lot of other breeds, um, species. Handling, you don't want a stallion, again, that's lived out in the field for three years. Oh, I put a rope on him occasionally, oh he does all this and that. You've got to have a stallion who's going into this environment, you've seen the pictures just of Tullus's yard, into a different experience, so they need to be quite worldly. Life experience, we find that um, the stallions that have been out and about competing, their testosterone tends to be much stronger, higher, therefore the semen quality invariably will be better. Um, and the time of year, I think particularly the native breeds, they are much better kind of late spring to autumn, not suddenly in December, expect, oh, let's send the stallion off to get some semen collected. So it's just preparation. At the end of the day, you want to maximise what one can do um, and to give the stallion and his semen the best chance. So this was when we first started. Um, the first centre we had actually was West Kington, but it was based at Buildington Park, at Kington Dyson. He didn't own it then. Um, and this was Trelow Father Abraham, the Big Shire, and Guinness. And um, that's what started off what we've been doing to try and help the Rare Breed Survival Trust and native breeds, and heritage breeds, I think the term is, in general. Thank you very much for listening to me.